Good evening, everybody, and welcome to our press conference prior to our EuroLeague quarterfinal match against West Ham United tomorrow evening here in London. We agreed with the German press that we're going to do the press conference in English. That makes it a bit more efficient for everybody, I think. So a very warm welcome to our manager, Xabi Alonso, and to our midfielder, Granit Chaka. Granit, uh, after winning the championship in Leverkusen, in your first year in Leverkusen, we're now back to EuroLeague. Um, you have played West Ham during the time, time with Arsenal various times. So what are your expectations for this match tomorrow? Yeah, hello everyone. Uh, first of all, yeah, I had um, my experience um, to be here before. Bad and good results for sure. Um, expecting, of course, 60,000 people here with a big atmosphere, big crowd. They are pushing uh, the West Ham, but um, of course, with the result at home, with the 2-0 up, we have the confidence to come here and um, hopefully to, to get to the next round. Xavi, uh, Granny just said 2-0 up, but uh, what are your expectations and how is it possible to beat West Ham here, especially in their home stadium? Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Yeah, we are expecting a, a tough game. For sure, uh, West Ham, they have the experience in... Uh, After uh, the Freiburg game, when they came back here and they had a good result, and we are ready to have a, an intense game that they, they will try to to have another game that uh, the one that the week before. But hopefully we will play good, we will play our football, and we are coming not here to just to to defend our soul. We try to win the game, and that's the best approach for for tomorrow. Thank you very much. Then your questions, please. Yes, please. How have you managed to congratulations on winning the title? How have you managed to um, walk a fine line between rightly celebrating such a historic event, but also making sure the players are ready physically and mentally for this for this big game? Yeah, thank you. And we're ready to for Sunday. After uh, the first leg, we had clear idea that uh, on, on Sunday we had a great chance and that uh, we were taking one day in case that of winning to, to enjoy it. But from Tuesday, our focus, our mind has been on, on tomorrow's game on West Ham. Uh, we will have enough time after that to, to reflect and to think too much. But now is the time that uh, we are in Europa League. We have a, a great opportunity to, to make a, a, a great season. So far, it's, 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 uh, it's been very good, but it can get even better. And we are coming to a... Uh, once you come to England, you, you know that the, the, the English supporters, the West Ham fans, they will push for, for them. We'll have an electrifying atmosphere. It's quite a final. It's a great chance. Europe. So we have all the ingredients to, to have a special night. And Hopefully we'll, we'll get ready and I have the, a good feeling about the team, the way we've trained, the way the commitment, the, the hunger of, of these players. They give just for me reasons to believe that we will play good tomorrow and, and let's see how, how it goes. Because David Moyes in his news conference says that he was hoping you'd all, all had one too many of those large glasses of beer as he mm -hmm. puts it. That's not the case, no? A uh, few of them, probably. <laughs> But not too many. We we had some control to to get ready for for tomorrow. But for sure, it was a moment to to enjoy it. But we have talked enough about uh, what happened, about the celebration. Now let's talk about what's what's coming tomorrow. And and yeah, was some. Oh, sorry. sorry. Yeah. Oh, 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 and one for granite. Are you going to have a fight in the hotel tonight over the remote control? You wanting to watch Arsenal, the boss wanting to watch Real Madrid. Um, <clears throat> we have two screens, so we can watch both. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, I mean, um, he's the boss, he's the, he's the coach, he decides about uh, the game. But um, yeah, whatever. Um, both games are very, very interested and um, we want to watch both if it's possible, for sure. Philip Ahrens, bitte, Bild Zeitung. 
Can you pass on the microphone? Yeah, Granit, um, you've been here in, in, in London for seven years with your family. Now you play with your new club here, coming back as a champion. This is also a, a personal derby for you, you know, um, all those games with Arsenal you played against West Ham. What does it mean? Are there many friends maybe tomorrow here, you know, from uh, Arsenal time? No, it's not a derby for me. I mean, um, of course, I've been um, here in UK for seven years, had seven beautiful years. But this is the past. Um, I'm looking forward. I'm now in Leverkusen with a great season, with a great team, with a great um, staff. I think that um, at the moment we are doing very well. But tomorrow is a new competition. It's a quarter final, how the court said as well. The second leg, and um, we have one goal, is to, to be in the semi final after this game. Any more questions? I mean, Lehmann from Vere Erbete. Can I have an answer in German for German radio? Yes, of course. Uh, Granit, um, Sie sehen eigentlich relativ fit aus. Erstaunlich. Granit, you, you're looking very fit. How did you get through the last few days? And what's the impression of the team? Uh, because th th there, there is a certain hunger. You're hungry, but uh, is the body still ready? Uh, can, can you answer in German? Yes. Yes, of course. When you are in a, in a quarterfinal, then of course you're hungry to win more. We've talked a lot about Sunday. We were crowned champions. We deserved that, so we celebrated that a little bit. But we didn't celebrate too much because we knew that we, we'd have a, an important match tomorrow. And of course there are more games in the Bundesliga plus the Europa League, possibly. So everybody uh, is, uh, is healthy. We are fit, and hopefully tomorrow we'll uh, bring a, uh, show you a good performance on the pitch. Just Sorry. Uh, yeah. Steve, you start first, and then we hand oh, over sorry. the microphone afterwards. It's okay. Just go ahead. <laughs> yes, please. Uh, just for the manager, um, how do you ensure that you keep the focus, and there might be a natural sort of human inclination to dip after such a high at the weekend? How can you ensure that everyone is fully focused to turn a good season into an incredible one? Till this moment, the the team, the players, they have given me no reasons to doubt about them because of the commitment, because of the concentration, the mentality that they have had. So I have no reasons to, to have doubts for tomorrow, even uh, after a big success. But I feel the the hunger, the desire of, of these players, of this team, that to keep going, not to stop. And for sure, we are push, pushing for that. We have a big challenge tomorrow, but for sure, we are going to be ready. If we, we don't go through, it's not going to be because we, we don't have the mentality. It's because football can happen. But I have all the confidence. We come in a humble way, but in a very confident way to, to play go and to go through. We had the, the experience last year of, of reaching the semi final, and we, we want to go even further this year. And just quickly for Granite, having won a title in your first season, Since leaving Arsenal, could you have imagined it would have gone as well as it's going? And have you had any messages from former Arsenal teammates and your thoughts on whether they can win the title here now as well? Of course. I mean, uh, before you do a, a transfer or a movement uh, to another country, um, you speak with the club, you speak with, uh, with the coach about the plan and uh, the philosophy. But of course, um, at the moment, how we are playing is unbelievable, uh, much more deserved than um, before the season the people were thinking. The contact still with Arsenal, with the coaches, uh, with the players, of course, you got a lot of message. And um, yeah, proud to be part of, of this team. Bitte schön. Could you pass the microphone to the gentleman in the back? Thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Um, hello, Charlie. Could you describe the role that uh, Granite has in the team? And maybe is it similar to your own role that you had in previous clubs that you played for? Well, I, th I think that we, we had very clear that uh, we needed a player with, with a hierarchy, with, with, with authority, with good game starting. And when we had the chance to To start talking with with Granite, uh, we had no doubts because of his personality, his quality, what he delivers to, not just on the pitch, off the pitch as well in the cabin. He's a true leader, and I'm really happy. Not because just he's next to me, but I can I can tell tell that, and I can feel that every day that he has a great influence in the young players as well, 
I'm for sure he has make us a much better team, a much more mature team, and, and he's a big, big part of the success that we are having. And you can feel he still has this hunger to, to keep pushing that, not to stop. And, and yeah, many pieces together, but he's a very important piece of, of, this, of this team and with the desire to, to keep developing this, this team and this, this project that we have. Xavi, there was uh, one player missing uh, on the flight, um, Borja Iglesias, and you uh, um, took uh, Ken Isako with you. What's the problem with uh, Borja? He had a little uh, injury. We don't know if how he will, it will be if it's a tear or if it's going to take longer uh, for weeks or for days because we need to see the, the development of, of the injury. The, the first few days have been good, but uh, probably for uh, Dortmund, He won't be available, and hopefully for for Stuttgart. But but yes, he was not in the squad neither for um, for Bremen. And Adam as well. Let's see for Stuttgart. But thank you. Um, a question for for Granite. Obviously, you spent a lot of time at Arsenal, and it would, the Invincibles would have been mentioned a lot. What would it mean to you to have an invincible season of your own? We, we won't go to go for it. Uh, of course, uh, five games left. Um, this will be something more than special if we can do it. Um, until now, unbeaten. Not just in, a, in a Bundesliga in Germany, but as well in Europe. And if you are so close to, to achieve that, um, we will give everything to, to do it. Um, even if we won already the league, how the court said, the hunger from the team, the mentality we have, it's, um, it's unbelievable and um, we want to take it. And you mentioned you had messages from your former teammates and uh, coaches. Have you had messages from Arsenal fans? Some of them are pleased that Harry Kane hasn't won anything because of yourselves. Yeah, this is part of, of football. Um, but um, we know everyone uh, how much quality that um, Harry Kane has. Um, he's doing very well at Bayern Munich as well. Um, you get the message, but um, this has nothing to do with uh, personality. Um, great to have the chance to play against great players uh, in the end we was uh, um, the happiest um, team to, to win the, the league and um, finally for me one for the coach um, I've seen you've just been linked with Real Madrid by your own chief executive N not this not straight away but soon -ish. <laughs> was that a surprise to you you know I, I have got quite a busy season with the speculation so so at the moment I am more tranquil so no not uh, let's not go back to there <laughs> <laughs> yes. I've got one more for granted if that's okay um, another one about Arsenal um, looks like Manchester City are now favorites to win the Premier League um, do you think Arsenal can come through the match tonight uh, and proceed in, in the Champions League against by Munich and do you think they can go on and win the Premier League as well? One week ago Arsenal was favourite even in the Premier League maybe in Champions League as well um, one week later it's the opposite this is part of, of, of the game of football um, but um, they know that I support them um, seven years to be in a football club in a country is, um, is always good and always special that's why of course um, they will be always in my heart for sure But uh, let's see what, what's happened uh, today. Of course, uh, we wish them all the best and the better team to go through. Uh, Stefan van Ox from Kicker. Gran Granit, eine Frage. Du uh, hast vor einem Jahr hier eine Situation erlebt, dass... A year ago, you had a situation. You, you lost a huge uh, advantage with Arsenal. Um, what does it mean for you now that you've returned here as a champion? to London I wouldn't say that we lost the championship here a uh, bad uh, um, patch just started here but now we've got a completely new situation uh, the Premier League is not uh, Bundesliga and now we're in the Europa League so we've, we're full of confidence we know that we played Fantastic 90 minutes in Leverkusen, and now we want to prove tomorrow um, that we can play another 90 minutes, very good minutes, and we can reach the semi final. <laughs> yes. 
Shabi, how do you want to sort the energy of the team now? Because now you won the league. Uh, is it just focused on the DFB Pokal and Euro League right now? No, for sure we will prepare the Bundesliga games as well. Uh, uh, we have big challenges ahead. We are not uh, uh, not preparing well those games. Uh, for sure we'll have enough time to talk about the Dortmund after the Stuttgart games. Those, are, those will be very nice games, but, but for sure uh, we... Having the chance that we have in, in in Europa League, hopefully we can reach the semi-finals. It will come during very intense May, but it's so good to be in this in this stage of the season, fighting for everything, and we want to be there in those uh, in those semi-finals. For that, we are playing West Ham. West Ham, they have good players. Uh, they have their recent experience of Freiburg. That we have uh, really thought about that, and we are we have really prepared about for that. And let's see tomorrow. We need to to have our best performance. I think that our football, our mentality, gives us the confidence that we are gonna be ready for tomorrow. I don't have any feeling, as I said before, that our uh, mentality will will be different from from the one that uh, have been uh, given us this this chance to to reach. The quarterfinals, so everything at stake, and, and let's see, 90 minutes, hopefully, to, to go through. Hey, if there are no more questions, thank you very much for attending, and see you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.